So today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how I changed my oil. This is a 2012 uh, Toyota Prius uh, plug-ins. Should be similar to all the Priuses, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, this one I purchased a mobile one. This is a synthetic. I've been using it, this uh, oil for quite some time and it is uh, pretty good. So this is uh, great for many of the GM, Honda, Nissan and Toyotas 0W220 so you gotta look at your uh, oil spec see if this is the one that's for you this one is the 5 quarts I got this on the Walmart for around like 26 something around 27 dollars and this one is the ST10358 if you get the frame I got uh, before make sure you have a 10358 and uh, this one is good for up to 10,000 miles. You will need this uh, special uh, adapter to remove your oil uh, cover or the cap. So I use a 7 uh, eighth wrench, I mean a socket. I use a 7 8 inch uh, socket. This one is a uh, Husky. And this is the Craftman tool that I have. And you will need to use this uh, 14 millimeter socket to remove your uh, oil. You also need the <clears throat> flathead screwdriver to uh, uncut the plastic lock. So you remove the bottom uh, plastic panel. So since my car is on the driveway right now, it's kind of slanted. You want to park at the flat uh, surface and remove the five wheels uh, lock nuts and take out the wheel. So it's easier to access your uh, oil filter and uh, drain, oil drain plug to push down your emergency brake so your car will not move forward or backward. So I got the jack out uh, on the passenger side, uh, well under the driver's uh, seat. Make sure you have uh, put this groove, I mean the gap right here, under the groove down there. So make sure the car will not move. It's quite dangerous, you want to have uh, some kind of block to block your wheel so it doesn't shift uh, forward when you uh, jack up the car. This is uh, right in between there.
So make sure you have uh, enough uh, clearance gap. So you can remove the wheel. Normally I like to remove the wheel and put it out in the center in case the car falls down. It won't crush you. So I like it to put it like that, just in case the car falls down, it will not crush you. Knock on wood. I got the car a little bit higher so I could uh, put this panel toward the front. Behind here, here is the oil filter cover, okay? Here is the drain plug, right there. So 
So you'll be using the 14 millimeter socket. Get the oil pan put it under the drain plug. Get ready to catch the oil. Be sure you open the oil cap and then uh, oil the dipstick to allow a quicker, uh, fast drain. Be sure to have oil pan once you get loose so you catch the oil.
when I take out the old oil cap uh, filter out, the new one, be sure to put the new old ring in there. The extra oil out on the oil pan. Oh, wipe it clean. the old o-ring So what I like to do is put some uh, fresh uh, oil in there. Then lubricant the rubber with the new oil. And then put it back in.
Make sure you wipe out all those uh, excess uh, oil that was dripped on the drain plug. Right there and right there. All right, all the covers are put back. I'm gonna put back the wheels and then uh, fill up the oil in the drain pump in here. Then you're done. Right here, okay. Four and a half. I'm going to put the dipstick uh, back. And then the oil cap. Now we're gonna start the engine, let it run a little bit, and then after that we're gonna stop and then uh, check on the oil level, make sure it's uh, at the right position. Okay, 
gonna hit the brake, start the car. Hit the gas pedal so the engine will kick in. So it's about almost 110,000 miles. Normally I change every 10,000 miles so because you buy synthetic oil. I know it's 10,000 because uh, I've been using that for my van, Honda Odyssey, and, and then uh, my other Prius. But in case you, in, in your engine burn oil, you, you want to check your engine oil level, make sure it's right at the right level, okay? Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop any other comments on below. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Like always, peace.